Welcome back to Loose Tube. This video will demonstrate how to install a longitudinal sleeve brace at a coupling or clamp. As with any brace, begin by securing the cable to the structure in the manner specified by your completed drawings. Refer to your design's specifications from the engineer's tools calculator or to your design manual. The first method of attaching to the structure is wrapping the cable around a steel beam or the top or bottom cord of a bar joist, then swaging an oval sleeve. Be sure to avoid swaging the sleeve too close to the joist. The angle maintained by the loop should be less than 45 degrees. Another method is securing with a bolt on a factory installed stake eye. The third method of attachment is using one of our seismic anchoring fittings and a swaged loop. Please note that there is no need to use a thimble with these specially designed fittings. Both the SAF series and stake eyes can be mounted in concrete, wood, or steel. Once the cable is properly attached to the structure, you may begin the attachment to the pipe. The cable should be aligned parallel to the pipe. Insert your oval sleeve onto the free end of the cable. Slide the sleeve up the cable to allow working room. Wrap the cable around the pipe twice forming a simple knot on the second wrap on the far side of the clamp or coupling. Ensure that the cable lies against any fitting and not on it. Insert the loose end into your oval sleeve and pull to adjust the cable, removing any slack. Be sure not to pull so tight that excess force is applied to the pipe. Before you swage the fitting, Ensure that the sleeve is positioned at a minimum distance of one and a half pipe diameters away from the pipe. This will ensure that the maximum 45 degree angle in the cable is maintained. Check again that the cable is tensioned properly, meaning there is no slack in the cable from the brace to the structure. Crimp the sleeve for the required number of compressions. Gold and orange cable sleeves require two compressions, and green and black cable sleeves require three. Refer to your design guide for more detailed information. After the swage is complete, cut any cable extending beyond the sleeve. Cable sway bracing works in tension only, which means that two braces must always be applied opposing each other. Repeat this process in the same manner in the opposite direction, ensuring that the cable is looped around the opposite side of the coupling or clamp. Your longitudinal brace is now complete. Thank you for watching. Please click these links for the next videos in the series.